Mingle our friend, I will not ask how you are, I am the one making you annual. You want to know how I can afford to oppress you? We don't need to care, as long as MOGE is not sanctioned, they cannot stop us. Our essential cash flow, the Myanmar Wild and Gas Enterprise, is not affected. Shh, don't tell anyone. Gas revenues are predicted to generate around 1.5 billion US dollars this financial year. MOGE's bank accounts are under our control. We can manage them however we want. Let me explain MOGE and gas revenues. We depend on four offshore gas projects. Yedana, Yedagon, Sodiga from Modamakov, which produce 1,280 million cubic feet per day. Yedagon is currently stopped, but 70-80% of the gas from Yedana and Sodiga is exported to the Thailand and the rest is used in Myanmar. Gas from the Shui project in the Bay of Bengal produce 500 million cubic feet per day. 80% is sold to China, the rest used in Myanmar. China and Thailand are the main clients of natural gas from Myanmar with long-term contracts. Billions of dollars are earned from natural gas exports annually. Some gas is used locally, but it benefits the business of military and associated enterprises. Gas produces some electricity from Myanmar, but only half the people are even connected to the national grid. Our military Honda has always used these profits. Let me tell you some other shady secrets. In 2001, the Tang Shui era, MOGE received $100 million from Total and Chevron's Yedna project. Shortly after, the military bought 10 Russian MiG-29 fighter jets for $130 million. Cool, huh? From 2000 to 2009, the Yedna project generated $4.8 billion US dollars, but only $30 million was recorded in the national budget. So, 99% of the revenues stay in the military control of your bank accounts. How? Exchange rate manipulation. In 2001, the local dollar exchange rate was $1 for 800 jets, but the official market rate used for the payment from the total at Chevron was $1 for 6 jets. This dual exchange rate is perfect for fraud, but we are not done seizing gas revenues. The military budget is also highest of any government ministry. Crucial areas education, healthcare, and welfare account for 12.5% of the government budget. Meanwhile, the military uses 15%. Nearly 50% of Myanmar foreign revenues are from the gas industry. These are vital to the military to buy weapons, fuels, warplane, and continue oppression. Since the military coup, the military is violating more and more human rights. This is the traditions of our military. As long as we can rely on foreign companies such as Toto, Chevron, and Postco earning us gas revenues, we can violently oppress innocent civilians. 